Islam has many of the solutions and answers to a lot of the problems that exist in the world today, 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 today. Even the same God. Yes. They don't believe the same God as you. They, they don't believe in Jesus, you're right. Yeah, they, they, they believe that Jesus is God of the Old Testament and the New Testament. But they don't believe that at all. No, they're right. We believe the same yeah. God, yeah? Yeah, but why you keep saying, do you think the Muslims believe the same God as you? Allah? Yeah. This is a good question. Do you think Muslims believe the same God as you? That's the same qualities like as the God of the Old Testament. That's Allah. Ah, hey, man. Look. That's hey, Allah. Yeah. That's, he has, does he have the same qualities? Like he's loving, so if you forgiving, he will be the judge. No, you will of course, be he's the most perfect. Yeah. But what I'm saying, what I'm saying, always you, the Christians, say to the Muslims, no you Muslims worship the moon god, but we are the Jews worship the same god. But the Jews here, they will never accept that you worship the same god as them. They don't even accept your god to be a prophet, let alone to be God. That's how crazy it is, you see. So what I'm saying, I'm saying, will you analyze all the gods of the scriptures in the Christianity, in Judaism, and Islam? No, because I'm a Muslim, we can analyze that. The perfect God, the one who possesses perfection, is the God of Quran. In the, for, for example, the Bible, the, 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 the God of the Bible, he says he regrets when he, when, he cho when he chose Saul as a king. He said, I greatly regret for choosing Saul as a king because he turned his back on me. And we know regretting is what? It's imperfection. Because when you regret something, we don't know the outcome of it. So we know Allah in the Quran tell us, likewise in the Bible, that he knows everything. So that clearly, that, the script, that, that statement is not from the God of the heavens and the earth. It's not. He's very knowledgeable. You know, it's not about that, you see? But when you come to the Bible, like, let me watch your name, by the way. Dushan. Dushan, nice to meet you, Dushan. My name is Shamsi. Why would you Dushan? We're not here to debate. We haven't to have discussion. You know, we're not here to show I know better than you. I'm more, no, no, no. We are here, inshallah, we pray to the God of Abraham to give us the truth. That's what we're here for. You know? Like, I was born a Muslim, but Islam doesn't tell me just blind follow. No, Islam teaches me to study, to seek knowledge, to speak with knowledge. So, what I would tell you, my name is Shamsi, by the way. Yeah? Do, you, do you accept that God knows everything all the time? Unknowing. We say unknowing. We know, I know, but we say unknowing. Yes. Okay. So you and I, we accept God's unknowing. Likewise, you and I, we accept God's all truthful. Doesn't not lie. Likewise, you and I, you accept God has no begin, no end. Of course. Okay. Alpha Omega. No doubt about that. So what I'm saying, when you when you analyze Jesus, may Allah's blessings and peace be on him. Does he fit the attributes of the perfect God? Yes. He fits, okay. So from that, God knows everything. So if I ask you, does Jesus know everything? The answer will be without any doubt, yes. Because it's God. When he was on this planet as a, as a, as a son of man, as a son okay. of man, he didn't. So he does know everything? He, he incarnated. Let me ask you, does the Father know everything? Yeah, he knows. Does Je is Jesus God is well? Yes. Does Jesus know everything? But not bodily, when he was you in see, the body. You see how it happened now? When he comes to the Father, you said yes. When you come to Jesus, but, you start changing. But the you know father, why? But the Father didn't become a human being. Okay, if you, become. if you become a human being, does it contradict? Any, let me ask you something. You the, can't be present everywhere when you, you, you've got the body. You know. Allah said in the Quran, you know Allah said in the Quran, to his prophet Muhammad, they ask you about the hour, said no one knows the meaning of the verse. They ask you about the hour, say the knowledge of it with Allah, with my Lord. Jesus was asked about the hour. Yeah? Are you aware of that? When he said no one knows the day and the hour, not even the angels in the heaven, nor the sun, but only who? The Father. The Father, yeah. You believe, according to your belief, Jesus had two natures. Yes. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yes. God nature and, and human nature. Yeah, you're right. My question right. I will ask you, Jesus as God, is he the Father or other than the Father? Jesus as God, not as human. What is he? Jesus as God. Is he, this, is he the Father? He's in unity with God, but at the same time, he's a separate being. He's a separate being. Yes. So according to my beloved prophet Jesus, who knows the hour? Jesus as God or only the Father knows the hour? According to Jesus' statement. Not according to, to uh, uh, priests in church. According to Jesus' statement. Je Jesus said, who saw me saw the Father. Are you telling me Jesus, God, the Father looked like Palestinian Jew? But he was talking about physical appearance, he was talking about his 
qualities, personal qualities, like loving, forgiving, uh, but, so, hospitable. What about calling a woman a dog? <laughs> I don't yes. know. Anyway, like, we're not gonna, uh, my point again. According to my beloved Jesus, I don't believe that anyway, he called the woman yeah, dog. But, 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 sorry, sorry to cut you. Sorry to cut you. Yeah? Yeah. Sorry. But, but, according, uh, again, again, to the point. Believing in okay. God is not about his body, it's about his, who, who God is. Inside. Because we don't, we don't say God, we say essence, not the body, because the body has two meanings. When you see, we say, we haven't saw God's essence. Yeah? But my point here is, I'm asking you, have respect. According to our beloved prophet Jesus, yes. yeah? When he said, no one knows, in Mark 13, 32, no one knows the day and the hour, not even the angels in the heaven, yes. nor the son, but only yeah. the, Father. the Father. So according to Jesus, does Jesus as God knows the hour? According to Jesus. Yeah. But he said only the Father. But he says the only Father, yeah. Yeah, you're right. But when he was on, on this planet, on, 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 on this earth, he only. Said that only the Father. Father. He would have said me and the Father. Yeah, if you five people talk, it's not uh, pointless. I mean, it's, it's a pointless. What I'm saying, according to Jesus, who knows the hour? But you differentiate between, do you differentiate between Jesus as a, the Son of Man and Jesus yeah, as, as the God. Son of God? No, no, I, even you claim Jesus to be God. I'm saying, according to Jesus as God, even Jesus as God, he doesn't know the hour. I'll give you something else. Even the Holy Spirit doesn't know the hour because the Holy Spirit right. and Jesus are not the Father. The Father is separate from Jesus and the Holy Spirit. They are different beings. Okay, so what, tell me, why then Jesus said, who saw me, saw the Father? What that's a good question. What? The body, that's a good question. You see what? I, I, that's a good question. Very beautiful question. Yeah. First of all, let me clarify something to you. As a Muslim, I believe in the Old Testament, in yes. the New Testament. What, what, not completely what it contains. However, there is some stuff there in the Bible, in the Old Testament, New Testament, no way it's from God. Because no one, no humans, will say, if you see me, you see the Father, or you see God. No one said that, because why? If you go to the Old Testament, he says, no one can see God, and he will say life. So if I see you, uh, let me give you an example. That's why Jesus became a son of, a son of man. Like, that's why he, he incarnated, because you can't see God and not die. <laughs> no, no, uh, no, no, it's not laughing, no, 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 it's not. It's not a lie, we're not here sincere. Inshallah, we, uh, here we try to benefit the people. To be, I don't like oh, camera, but people, they like to put stuff here. Okay, you know, you just tend to put some more camera. Can, can, can you see Look what guys going to put. Can you see Allah without dying? Can I see Allah? Can you see Allah and you don't die? Can you see can I, we cannot see Allah here. No, we can't. If, because if we have a story. We have a story. If, if you saw him, would you be alive? Or we will see him in day of judgment, inshallah. As a Muslim, if you, I, I become a Muslim, you will see Allah in paradise. And that's the biggest blessing. But you will see Allah. Your body will be transformed. Yeah, Allah will give you the power. I don't know about body transformed, but Allah will give you the power. In, in, in your body, yeah. can you see Allah? No, we cannot see Allah. If you saw him, what, happened? what will happen to you? Yeah, uh, like we have story of Musa. He, uh, he, he, uh, he, uh, what they, what they call it? he fainted. When he saw. But my point here again, what I'm saying to you, Jesus, alayhi salatu wa salam, he will never say that statement. If you see me, see the Father. Because it doesn't make any sense. Because me, as a human being, if you tell me, if you see me, see the Father, I think your Father, he has a green eyes or blue eyes, blonde hair, he's a white person. But it's not about so I'm physical, saying, physical yeah, but about, I can't see you from inside. The cool inside. But I can't see you from inside. But Jesus, he manifested his love, understanding, sacrifice, you know. Okay, let's understand. So, also Jesus manifested also that he called a woman a dog. No, after okay. I will ask you. Okay, ask no, you can to me. No, no, but inshallah, I'm going to meet you. No, I will come back. It was nice talking to you. Yeah. As I told yeah. you, it's not about who has more knowledge. Who, who yeah. Yeah. No, it's about seeking Dumbo. the truth. He was asking seeking truth. As a Muslim, I just I'll give you something. As a Muslim, I believe all the prophets and messengers. I believe in Jesus, Moses, Abraham, Noah. Yeah. They reject Jesus. I believe in Jesus, a mighty messenger, a Messiah. You see, I believe in Moses. I believe in Abraham. So we believe all prophets and messengers. I'm saying, study about the Prophet Muhammad. If Prophet Muhammad was a liar, he would never defend Jesus in Mecca and in Medina when there was not a need of him to do that. Because why? If anyone who's a liar, if he lives in the environment, there's a lot of his enemies, he will say something that fits and something that will please enemies. Rather, the Prophet Muhammad, when he was in Medina, he was defending Jesus and telling the Jews you're lying against him in Medina. That shows the Prophet of Allah. Okay, I, I have to go. Uh, no, sorry, take care for your time. Look after yourself. Yeah. Have a nice day. Take care. Where, where? There.
What's the problem with no, the No, not debate. What's the problem with the I'm, I'm here to correct Islam, that's what I'm doing here. You said the verse, you said the verse. Ah, yeah, yeah, I, I was speaking about when you, when you look to the God. Uh, yeah, 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 God, God. When you look to God, when you. Uh, that can't be from the. You have dialogue with me. Huh? You have discussed no, it. Like, it's not a problem. It's not yeah, a question. Yeah. What I'm saying, when you look to uh, the teaching about God in the Old Testament and the New Testament and the Quran, 